And I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. Tonight we are talking about Lake Mead and we are going to be talking about the whole Colorado River system. As we start off at windy.com like we always do, we're going to check out the snow possibly coming in the next several days. This is goes out to the 17th, so just past Valentine's Day. And we're looking at Steamboat Springs and possibly 20 inches of precipitation coming there of snow. We come down to Aspen, you're talking about 12.8. We come over to Oak Creek and you're talking about possibly 16.4. And then we come over here to Glenwood Springs, 7.7. Aspen, 12.8. We come down to Telluride and you're talking about 10.9 Grand Junction. Generally, they don't get much snow over there. 0.8 possibly in the next 10 days. We go to the GFS to see this is way different. The GFS is calling for Grand Junction to get almost 10 inches of snow, so that's possible. We come down to Montrose, you're talking about 19.2. Parachute, you're talking about 14. Steamboat Spring, 13. Let's go up higher, up to the beginning of the Green River up here, 13.5. Pindell, you're talking about 12.7 Rock Springs, possibly 2.6. And then we come down here by the Green River, 3 inches. And the GFS is even calling for a little bit over here at Lake Powell, possibly 0.8. Who knows? Cortez over here, you're talking about 4.2. We come over here towards Lake Navajo, you're talking about 6.2. This is some good snow possibly coming up here towards the beginning of it and about 11, 12 inches possibly. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. To see what ultimately happens and there's a little bit of snow over by Sapa and Kanab and St. George and they're even calling for a little tracing of snow over in Las Vegas possibly Flagstaff possibly 1.8 so that you get a let's see what the snow amount is currently the snow depth there in Colorado and we will keep on going here 47 inches it's not terrible for this time of year, Telluride's got 27, and then just to the east of the Telluride, possibly 75, there's 77, so that, that's a real good snowpack this year. I don't know where it rates. We need to go look at that now. Let's go figure that out. As you can see, we're well below. We are well below normal. Here is this year's, and you can see that we are only sitting at 94% today, so we're hoping for a higher snow peak. We're not too far off the main main thing. We're in third pl place to the bottom, so that's not real good compared to previous years. So, especially the last 10 years, we're at 98.35. Not terrible year. We could be better. It has been worse in the past, but overall, the upper Colorado water system's 98.35. You have some of these only 37, 39, 52%. But it's not as bad as 2021, but 25, we definitely need more precipitation. So there's hope on the way, possibly. We will see ultimately. Let's go out and see what the water levels are at the lakes, and we'll do that right now. As we roll out to the Flaming Gorge, you can see that the current water level is 6,025.11, and that was on Monday, February 3rd, 2025 at 6 p.m. The level is 21.89 feet below full pool of 6,047. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.21 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 0.17 feet over the last seven days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down as well, 0.44 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 0.87 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 3.88 feet. And over the last year, the lake is down 1.16 feet. Your inflows are currently 322 and your outflows are currently 1,215. And let's continue to scoot on here. As we roll out to the Flaming Gorge, your full pool level is 647. In 2023, the water level was 6,007.05 feet. 2024, the water level was 6,026.27 feet. 2025, we are looking at 6,025.11 feet. An inactive pool is 5,871. And your dead pool is 5,740. And we continue to scoot along here. And we go out to percentage of capacity. Your current percentage of capacity is 81.67%. Let's go down to Lake Navajo next. 
as we roll out to Lake Navajo, you can see your current water level is 6,037.65 feet. And that was on Monday, February 3rd, 2025 at 6 p.m. The level is 47.35 feet below full pool of 6,085. Changes since yesterday, the lake down 0.09 feet. Over the last seven days, the lake is also down 0.34 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 0.71 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 1.4 zero feet over the last six months the lake is down 11.06 feet over the last year the lake is down 4.92 feet your inflows are currently 213 and your outflows are currently 360 let's continue to scoot on to your three-year bar graph next as we roll out to lake navajo your water level for full pool is 6085 in 2023 we are looking at 6017.75 feet 2024 we are looking at 6040 42.57 feet 2025 today we are looking at 6037.65 feet and your dead pool is 5775 feet and we will continue to scoot along here we go out to percentage of capacity and your current percentage of capacity there is 61.15 feet let's go over to blue mesa next as we roll out the Blue Mesa, you can see your current water level 7,481.82 feet. And that was on Monday, February 3rd, 2025 at 6 p.m. The level is 37.18 feet below full pool of 7,519. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.08 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 0.42 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 0.77 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down one point. 23 feet over the last six months the lake is down 12.18 feet and over the last year the lake is down 6.78 feet your inflows are currently 404 your outflows are currently 588 and we continue to scoot along to your three-year bar graph in 2023 we are looking at a level of 7447.64 feet 2024 we're looking at a level of 7488.60 feet and of course today just as stated earlier we're looking at 7481.82 feet just a little bit lower than last year but not by much maybe seven foot a little under seven foot deadpool there at blue mesa is 7358.00 feet let's roll over to lake pal next let's go to percentage of capacity next as we roll out to percentage of capacity you can see your current percentage Percentage of capacity is 62.21%. Let's roll on over to Lake Powell next. As we roll out to Lake Powell, you can see your current water level is 3,566.19 feet. Here's your graph. You can see that it's going down, but it's not near as bad. We're still higher than we were in 2024, which is a good thing. And let's continue to roll. And that was on Monday, February 3rd, 2025 at 6 p.m. The level is 133.81 feet below full pool of 3,700. Changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.23 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 1.19 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 2.52 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 5.22 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 11.52 feet. And over the last year, the lake is up 1.55 feet. Outflows are currently 10,606. We continue to roll over to three-year bar graph next. As we roll out to Lake Powell's full pool level, you can see that the full pool level there at Lake Powell is 3,700. In 2023, the water level there at Lake Powell was 3,523.12 feet. Last year, we were looking at 3,564.64 feet and today we are higher as stated earlier 3,566.19 feet so about a little over two feet inactive pool there at Lake Powell is currently 3,490 feet dead pool there at Lake Powell is 3,370 let's go out to percentage of capacity next as we roll out to percentage of capacity you can see your current percentage of capacity is 33.92 percent let's roll up to Lake Mead next. As we roll out to Lake Mead, you can see that the current water level is 
going up and we're not as high as we were last year but we are trending up we generally trend up until about march 1st so it should continue to go up until then we are currently sitting at 1066.82 feet and that was on monday february 3rd 2025 at 6 p.m the level is 152.78 feet below full pool of 1219.60 feet changes since yesterday the lake is up 0.23 feet over the last 24 hours over the last seven days the lake is also up 0.37 feet over the last 14 days the lake is up 1.03 feet over the last 30 days the lake is up 3.19 feet over the last six months the lake is up 5.45 feet and over the last year the lake is down 6.47 feet inflows are currently 13,086 just about typical for this time of year outflows are currently 8,330 and we go out to your three-year bar graph next as we roll out to full pool you can see that your current full pool is 1219.60 feet in 2023 we are looking at 1046.94 feet 2024 we were looking at 1073.29 feet and this year we're lower than we were last year we are at 1066.82 feet inactive pool of course is 950 dead pool of course is 895 and we continue to scoot along here as we roll out to percentage of capacity you can see your current percentage of capacity is 34.51 percent and we go over to lake mojave next as we roll out to lake mojave you can see that the current water level is 642.07 feet and you can see this thing really has come up over the last month as it generally does this time of year so we will be watching this closely and we continue to scoot along here and that was on monday february 3rd 2025 at 6 p.m the level is 4.93 feet below full pool of 647 changes since yesterday the lake is up 0.27 feet over the last 24 hours the lake is also up 2.23 feet over the last seven days over the last 14 days the lake is also up 2.48 feet over the last 30 days the lake is up 2.52 feet over the last six months the lake is down 1.78 feet and over the last year the lake is down 0.04 feet inflows are currently 9,090 outflows are currently 6,100 and we continue to scoot to your three-year bar graph next as we roll out to your three-year bar graph you can see your full pool level is 647 in 2023 the level was 642.21 feet 2024 last year we were looking at 642.11 2025 we are looking at 642.07 feet deadpool there is 533 feet we're going to go to percentage of capacity next as we roll out to percentage of capacity you can see your current percentage of capacity is 92.06 percent let's roll out to lake havasu hope all is well with everybody richard and b and everybody else hope all is well and we continue to scoot along hope your winter is nice and warm compared to illinois where it's really cold the water level at lake havasu is currently 446.85 feet you can see it always fluctuates here quite often and frequent and this was on monday february 3rd 2000 25 at 6 p.m the level is 3.15 feet below full pool of 450 changes since yesterday the lake is up 0.19 feet over the last 24 hours the lake is also up 0.35 feet over the last seven days the lake is up 0.96 feet over the last 14 days the lake is up 0.33 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 1.76 feet over the last six months the lake is down 1.70 feet over the last year and and 6,080 is your inflows, and 5,380 are your outflows. So exactly a thousand difference there. Let's go out to your three-year bar graph next. We go out to your bar graph next. Full pool level there is 450. In 2023, the water level was 447.29 feet. 2024, we are looking at 448.55 feet. 2025, we're looking at 446.85 feet feet and active pool there is 440 and dead pool is 400 and let's go out to percentage of capacity next percentage of capacity we are currently looking at 89.57 percent thank you guys for stopping by if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button if you're still with me you guys are awesome if not well we'll see you on the next one god bless